Hey everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Sometime we make grave mistakes in our lives, things we wish we could take back, and it can be hard living with a sense of regret. Most of us can probably point to at least one thing in our lives that we wish we could go back and fix. Today's saint knows exactly that feeling all too well. A Syriac Christian living in the late 300s to early 400s, James Intercisus was a man of means and status. A military officer and a favorite of the Persian king Yezdegerd I, it can be assumed he enjoyed special privileges in the empire. But in spite of his position and privilege, James did not possess courage. When the king began persecuting Christians heavily, he renounced his faith for fear of being put to death. When the king died years later, the persecution died along with him, for a time. James's own family had lived through the persecution and had not apostatized. They rebuked him for his cowardice, chastising him for renouncing his heavenly king in fear of the worldly king of Persia. Convicted by the honest words of his family, he underwent a deep conversion of heart. Repenting of his denial of the faith, he then threw himself into prayer, asking that God conform him to Christ. When the new king, Barum, began persecuting Christians again, James saw his opportunity to make up for his past mistake. He confessed his faith publicly and was sentenced to death. This is where his by name comes from. Intercisus is derived from the Latin word meaning cut into pieces, referring to the manner of his martyrdom. For his faith, James was hung from a beam and slowly cut into 28 pieces, beginning with his fingers and limbs until he was eventually beheaded. The crowd who witnessed his execution called out, urging him to renounce Christianity because they could not bear to watch his horrific torture. But this time he stayed strong to his convictions and died with a clear conscience. Today we remember James as the patron saint of lost vocations and torture victims. His story reveals so much about Christ's love for us. It would have been easy for him to fall into despair over his failure. He could have, like Judas, abandoned hope for himself, choosing pride over repentance. Instead, he allowed himself to be pierced with conviction and humbly submitted himself to Christ with a sincerely contrite heart. How often do we find ourselves dwelling on the past, punishing ourselves for our failures without accepting the mercy of God? Next time you're tempted to look back with guilt or regret, remember Christ's love for you. If a man like James could still become a saint after denying Christ, then there is certainly still a chance for you to become the person God created you to be. If we repent with a spirit of contrition and choose penance over pride, then we too can find the joy of salvation in God's kingdom. St. James Intercisus, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is a three-minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.